good morning what's going on subscribers what's going on everybody well a long journey has finally 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 comes to an end good to go let's get these bastards New journey starts today, but a long journey came to an end yesterday. And I am finally sitting down in my car, personal car, to go ahead and get you guys updated and probably give you some tips on, uh, on what happened to me this past week. Let's rewind it back to Thursday. It all started back uh, Thursday when I went to go do my DOT physical. Now, as I said before in my one video titled uh, DOT, and I forgot the rest of it, I said in that video that everybody that's in the trucking world, every well, not in the trucking world, everybody that's on YouTube uh, talking about their adventures in trucking and all that good stuff about where they go, where they been, how much they're making, what they're doing, and all that other good stuff. But see what they what they fail to tell you is what's the real in order to become a truck driver to become a truck driver is easy they'll tell you about what you need to become a truck driver with cdl school to go to with cdl company to go to you know to get your cdls all right once you uh once you accomplish all of that you now have to keep your cdl you now have to protect your CDLs. You know, I always say that your CDLs is like a gold card. You need to protect it. And the best way to protect it is not to do stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure you make sure you do the speed limit. Make sure you within your lanes. Make sure you don't don't. Uh, don't get no tickets, no infractions, no nothing. You know, you really want to keep a good, clean uh, CDL license. You want to keep them good. You want to keep them clean so that you can continue driving. Your CDLs is your livelihood. That's what they are. It's, it's your livelihood. Some of you guys that got into this trucking game really don't have nothing else to fall back on. Let's be honest about it. I don't. I'm being honest. I don't have nothing else to fall back on if 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 I lose my um if I lose my CDLs, if I can't drive, if I can't uh if I can't keep if I can't keep my CDLs clean, I don't have nothing to fall back on. I got to if if God forsaken anything should happen to me as far as as far as my driving career goes, I don't know what, what I would do, but I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to find something. We're not going to be able to find anything that's going to pay us the same. We're not going to find anything that's going to give us the freedom of doing what we want to do while we're driving the truck. So, keeping up with your license is very important, man. And let me tell you guys, it is very important, all right? So important is that you got to keep up with your health out here. All right? Your health, I hate I really hate to say this, but some of you guys out here are unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, I I, I understand why. You know what I'm saying? We, we we drive a truck all day. We really don't get no exercise in. We don't get we don't eat the proper foods that we're supposed to eat. We sit on our asses all day. Uh, 
you know, and and some truck drivers just, you know, just let themselves go. If you do that, then you run the risk of losing your CDLs. Now, don't get me wrong. I see a lot of drivers out here. I see you guys at the truck stops. I see you guys at the restaurants. I see you guys. We are overweight. There's a lot of you out there, man. And, you know, sometimes I sit and think, wow, how are you driving the truck? How are you getting your medical certificate to continue driving the truck? But see, that's none of my business. And that's not for me to question. I can only question my actions. Thursday of last week, I went to go take my DOT physical. All right? Nobody ever talks about DOT. They, they, they talk about everything else except for DOT. Well, I'm here to talk about the Department of Transportation physical. It's the physical that you got to take either once a year or twice a year to keep your license. I went to go take it and uh, and it didn't go good. It didn't go good for me at all. Uh, I went in, uh, I, I went to my company sponsored clinic to take the physical. Now I thought, I thought to myself that you know, I even told my fleet manager, I said, hey, I was on a load, by the way. I said, hey, I'm about to run in. I'm about, I'm, I'm on my way to Ohio. I'm about to run into the clinic, take my physical, hop back in the truck, and take, uh, take the load that I was on back to Cleveland. Didn't turn out that way. So I went to go, I went to go in, signed in and everything, and... I uh, I started the physical. Now, this particular physical was a little bit extra than what I was used to because my first two physicals, I didn't have to go through all of the stuff that they took me through when I took my physical, when I took my first two physical. But I, I guess doctors do it different. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's understandable. The nurse, the male nurse came in and started with the with the with the pre-exam. I felt confident that, you know, hey, I, I'm gonna get my certificate, I'm gonna keep on rolling and 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 keep doing what I'm doing. But when he came in and he started he started the physical, he did the uh, he did the uh, he did the, the pulse, he checked my pulse. He checked my eyesight. I did the uh, hold on for a minute. Going through, going through everything. Uh, he did, he did my vision. He did my sight. Uh, he did my vision test. Had me to read the lowest line, which I did. Uh, had me to, uh, had me to call out some colors. He showed me a blue razor, a red top, uh, a yellow marker, and a green folder so he showed me all of those and you know we, we kept going then we did the Aisha Aisha tour test I, I can't pronounce the, the name but it's the it's the test that got all those dots in there and you gotta and you gotta decipher a number out of there you know within 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 that collages of dots and stuff he didn't even show me that, but he asked me what can what numbers can I see in there? And you know, I'm looking at it at an angle, I'm looking at it at the top, I'm looking at it at the side, and unfortunately I couldn't decipher the numbers that was in there. But he did that particular test poorly wrong. Alright. He's supposed to turn the pages so that I can decipher the numbers that's within those pages. He only had it on the two pages, all right? So that was wrong, right there. So we went to the, I, I went to the restroom, did the uh, urine analysis, and this where the thing changed. When I did the 
when I did the urine analysis. He, I went back into the room. He came back in. I, I overheard them talking. I overheard him and the doctor talking about me. So he came back in and he did the glucose test, the little prick test, the little finger, the little finger test, to, to check my blood sugar in my blood. Uh, maybe about, maybe about five ten minutes later, the doctor finally comes in and it's a lady doctor, and the first thing that comes out of her mouth is. I'm not giving you your certificate. And I was like, what do you mean you're not giving me my certificate? What 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 that mean? Well, right now I'm not giving you your certificate because your blood glucose levels is high. It's high. She said you may be a diabetic. And I'm sitting there like, dude, I'm I'm not a diabetic. A diabetic? Huh? I'm not a diabetic. You know? I'm I'm weighing at a good at a at a good 250 pounds down from down from two down from 265 uh, about three weeks ago. I'm like diabetic. I, I can't be a diabetic. But she wouldn't give me my certificate, so she was like, "Well, I'm going to go ahead and continue with your physical." And I and I stopped her right there because I got mad. I was like, stop. I said, if I'm not getting my certificate today, then there's no point of me getting, uh, there's no point of me going any further with you on my physical. So she says, uh, well, I really want to take it. I said, no, no, let's not. I said, if, you, if you're not going to give me my certificate, then what's the point of you continuing with the physical? I went back to the, I went back to the, to the terminal and I thought that since I still had my current uh, med uh, medical certificate, I thought I was still good to, you know, to drive, you know, to drive until I got here to Cleveland to go see my uh, to go see my doctor. Unfortunately, that didn't turn out. Uh, that didn't turn out okay either. Uh, luckily for me, my son was going out of town. Friday morning and I'm glad he didn't leave Thursday night I got back to the terminal and uh, my safety director uh, called me up or a satcom I mean satcom me because I didn't get I didn't get her call but she satcom me on the uh, on the uh, on the call com she also left me a message too saying since I didn't pass my DOT uh, cert, uh, since I didn't pass my DOT physical, I am not able to drive the truck. And I, I called her up and I asked her, I said, well, wait a minute, what do you mean I'm not able to drive the truck? I says, uh, I, I'm still good with my current medical certificate. Well, since you didn't pass the new, you know, since you didn't pass the new one, I can't I, I can't let you drive the truck until you until you get a until you get a new uh, DOT certificate. I had to call my son up. He had to come all the way. Luckily, I was in Columbus. Imagine if I was anywhere else, U.S. Express. Luckily, I was in Columbus, and I was able to have my son to call uh, to come and get me. I, I made my appointments for my personal doctor so that I could take my physical and, and, and my eyes exam and my DOT physical. So, over the weekend, I drunk nothing but water. Oh, and by the way, my glucose levels at the time, at the time of, at the time of the reading Thursday, it was 404. It was real high. I was leaking sugar. And let me, let, let me explain why, all right? This is where you guys' health comes into play. When you're out on the road, we don't drink healthy. We drink a lot of energy drinks to keep us going. We drink a lot of Red Bull. We drink a lot of caffeine shots. We drink a lot of monsters. We drink a lot of shit that we're not supposed to drink. You guys don't realize 
I didn't realize that all that shit contains a number amount of sugar. A lot of sugar. You see what I'm saying? I I drunk Gatorade mixed with Sprite, orange juice mixed with Sprite. And you know, uh, Sprite by itself contains a lot of sugar. This like, this like orange juice. So I'm putting sugar on top of sugar, on top of sugar, on top of sugar. That plus, plus I'm, I'm eating like, sometimes I eat candy, I eat cereal, I eat, uh, I eat things that's not good for me. And all of it build up. It build up with nowhere to go. You see what I'm saying? My body didn't have the insulin, didn't have enough insulin to, to decinerate all the sugar that I had accumulated in my body. So, I went to my doctor. Uh, on Monday first of three appointments um, I went to Cleveland Clinic and uh, took my uh, physical there actually I was due for a physical I was supposed to have taken it early this year but I didn't so it's kind of good that I took it you know now before the year's out uh, I went into my appointment and um, you know, the doctor did, did you know, did, did the physical thing, you know, check my heart, check my pulse, check my blood pressure, check my uh, eyes, you know, he didn't, you know, he just did the, the, the dot in the eyes and all that stuff, it made me open my mouth, say ah and all that good stuff, check my ears and everything, so on the offset, everything was good, everything was good, um, he did the, uh, the, the knee check, check to see if I had some abnormal swelling in my legs and all that good stuff. And then when I told him about, you know, about my glucose levels, uh, when the doctor, when the DOT doctor uh, did it, he, uh, he also said that he thinks that I'm a diabetic. And I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm going like, no, 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 I'm not a diabetic. It's just that, you know, the way I was eating was wrong, you know, and I was drinking and all like that. He was like, well, let's, let's see what the blood test looks like. Did the blood test. Um, and I, you know, I do all my, I do all my tests. So I test for everything. Um, the glucose test came back quick. <laughs> well, I guess because it, he, he wanted to know what my glucose test was and it was elevated it really was it was uh but it was it was good and it was bad it was good because it came down from 404 down to down to 230 down to 233 and it's supposed to be under 200 but still it was good in a sense that it, it came down dramatically. At 2.33, it was still high, and he diagnosed me as a diabetic. So, you know, I, I was I was kind of bummed, you know, depressed, because I really believed that I, I really wasn't a diabetic. I, I think if I would have waited maybe about another, maybe about another week or so, it, it, it would have came, came down. But, you know, it, it, it was a bitter pill to swallow at that time. So, uh, with that said, I had to change the diet. Basically, the, di uh, the diabetes that I have is type 2. So, that's pretty much, you know, weight related and is pretty much based on what, what you're supposed to eat and what you're not supposed to eat and get some exercise in. He told me I need to get in at some exercise. I can't drink, I, I can't drink soda, can't drink milk, can't, um, there's a lot of stuff that I can't do. I can't drink soda, can't drink milk, can't drink pop. Um, I can't eat dairy, can't drink milk, can't eat wheat, can't eat oatmeal, can't eat yogurt. So yeah, all, all the stuff that I'm so used to eating, I can't eat no more. 
I can't eat until until I go for a follow up. Um, he put me on med he put me on medication. Um, I'm not taking the insulin shots, so I don't have to worry about getting a um, getting an exempt from um, from the motor carriers. But he put me on the he put me on a pill medication, and it's these big ass horse pills that you got to take. You see this right here? This is what I have to take. This horse sized pill right here. This is what I got to take for the next three months until I go and do a follow up with my doctor. Side effect. The biggest side effect, y'all, if y'all ever have to take these pills, and for the people that are taking these pills, know that the only side effect is burning diarrhea. I mean, it's, it's crazy. When I, took, when I took the first set of pills, the, the one night, oh my God, I was, on, I, I was in the restroom. Is I look. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna talk about it. It, it was that bad. I went home and, like I said, I was kind of. I, I was kind of bummed out, but I was kind of happy at the same time because, you know, my glucose levels did go down, but it's still up. And I and I, I, I was real scared. I really was. I, I thought that my livelihood was about to be taken from me because because of poor eating habits. Guys, you, you guys gotta take care of yourselves. Your health is, is, is important. It, it really is. Now, now that you're a driver, it, it's more important now than ever because your, your CDLs is, 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 is at jeopardy if you don't get, if you don't take care of yourselves out here, you know? If you don't take care of yourselves out here, you you, you won't be able to drive no more. I I was just kind of wondering and getting scared that you know it was about to, it was about to affect my livelihood. You know, it, it it was about to affect my money. You know, because being a diabetic, the the symptoms is you know you get abnormal swelling, which I don't have, and you get blurred vision which I haven't experienced that either. And, and to, to be diagnosed as a diabetic, you know, it really, puts your, it really puts your life and your health in perspective. Not only that, but, you know, it, it puts, your, it, it puts your, your livelihood for your DOT, I mean, for your, for your CDL license in jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, really, I'm telling you, protect your CDLs. Make sure you make sure you get your health right. All right. Make sure you go out there and and make sure you take care of yourself when you're out on the road. No. What are you waiting for? Do it. Just do it. Yes, you can. Just do it.